After more than 100 years, the Titanic is still fascinating researchers and scientists alike. And now a new groundbreaking 3D scan may give us more information about how the ship struck the iceberg. Researchers created this video rendering by piecing together more than 715,000 still images taken from every angle. The result gives us unprecedented detail of the ship, from the rust on the bow to a hole where the grand staircase used to be. Some images have even given glimpses of champagne bottles and shoes. The 3D scan was created by a deep sea mapping company and Atlantic Productions, which is making a documentary about the project. Joining us now is the CEO and creative director of the Atlantic Productions, Anthony Geffen. Anthony, this is so cool. You've said, though, that we really don't know what happened to the Titanic. Don't we actually really do know what happened? No, no, we don't know because what's happened is we had um, people who dived on, you know, Ballard and Cameron who dived on the Titanic and took very low resolution pictures. And what happened is they speculated on, on you know, on what happened. But we've gone back and we've captured absolutely one to one. This is a this is a literally a digital twin of the Titanic. And that is now enabling us to understand how it sank, some of the personal stories on the Titanic, and completely rewriting the history of the Titanic. And we'll certainly produce a documentary next year, but we'll also produce an experience which will allow people using new tech, using AR and VR, to actually walk themselves onto the Titanic. And that, I think, is a pretty historical moment. It's, we're looking at the images now as you're talking, and they really are incredible. You said that week by week, by studying these images, you have discovered new details about the sinking in 1912. What have you learned? OK, let, let me tell you a couple of things. There's a lot of things that will come out over the next six months, because now we've completed the model, is take... take um, the, the the room which is called boiler room one boiler room one was found just off the wreck mm -hmm. and what's incredible about that is we always wondered how when the titanic was sinking how did the lights stay on i mean we had no idea who did it or how it was done we've discovered in boiler room one that um the experts have discovered that when it entered the water it basically blew the top off the the, the boiler room one so we now know that Boiler Room 1 and the people who were in Boiler Room 1 actually kept the lights on in the Titanic. So that's a, that's one personal story. Let me tell you another personal story. In Jim Cameron's film, there is a guy called Officer Murdoch who's a villain because right. he didn't the last, you know, the last uh, the last lifeboat. And what we've now found out, if you scan in on the Titanic, you can actually find there's what's called a, a rivet, but it's basically a great big pin. And that stopped the lifeboat launching. So the, the true story, and that's, you know, you can see there the, uh, the boiler room. But what we now know is that, in fact, Officer Murdoch was a hero. He tried to launch the, 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 the lifeboat and couldn't. Hmm. OK, so let's across to the, the, the debris field. This is a three by three mile air radius. This, when the boat tipped on its side and landed, it pushed out most of the belongings of the people on the Titanic. So what does that tell us? Which is quite extraordinary. Well, we have all these things. We have shoes. We have a Megalodon necklace we found. I mean, you can imagine everything. And we realized that how could we connect the personal stories to those things? So what we did is we took every picture that had ever been taken of anyone in the Titanic. We used AI. And basically, you can tie the objects. You can tie a top hat. You can tie the Megalodon necklace to individuals. So suddenly, wow. examples, you're beginning to bring back the stories from the Titanic. You really are bringing it to life. Anthony Geffen, I can't wait for the documentary. The images truly are extraordinary. All the previous things have been so dark and so murky, and you've really, the sharp focus of it all, it's incredible. Anthony Geffen, thank you so much for joining us tonight. What a project. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.